I have always lived by myself the moment I graduated high school. The first time I moved, I moved in the same town that I am in now with my cousins and my aunt. It was the first real time I was independently focused on myself. And it was, it was, it was really nice. Then we had to move and I had to move back with mom. A few months passed by and my old friend, Nick, came by my old job. He's like, while I'm looking for roommates, would you be like, would you be interested? And then that happened. Then I lived in Cincinnati for a very long time with him and the lease was starting to come up again. And it was just time to find somewhere new to live because we were all getting older. We were all moving away and it was just a wreck of, a, of an apartment. It was just, we, we thrashed that apartment to death. Then I moved back with mom for less than a month. Then I moved back in with my cousin in town with his aunt and her previous boyfriend. Great guy. He, he's still a good guy. And I lived with them for a year. Then I moved in with a friend for a month with my girlfriend at the time. Then his lease came up and we and my girlfriend and I had to move back home with my mom. We both got jobs for a while, but we couldn't stay there. We possibly couldn't stay there. And this is the, uh, this is the home I've been living in for almost five years now. And um, I'm moving. I'm not moving home with mom though. I'm moving into another apartment in the same complex. This apartment means so much to me because it was the first time where this is my place. This is my place. I rent this out, I pay for it. This is my place. It was, it was the best four years of my life living here. I've had ex-girlfriends live with me. I've had my cousin live with me. I've been through a lot in this apartment and now I'm moving. I think it's time that I let go of the past and embrace the future with this new place to live. A, a new change for myself. I've been, for the past two years, I've been extremely upset with myself and depressed all the time. Then uh, I started working. I, I got a job, and, you know, with the job came with responsibilities and opportunities that I took, like going to the gym. Besides all that, it's, it's hard to say goodbye, especially if it's an actual person and or something you're very sentimental about, like this place, for example. I went through a lot of emotions in this room. I was gonna say some other stuff, but uh, I'm gonna make this PG. I fell in love, I got dumped. It's funny. I didn't know who I was from 18 to, not now, but more or less of the beginning of the year, I didn't know who I was identity-wise, I guess. 
because um, I was trying to be all these people combined into one thing and it was like a puzzle that just couldn't fit together anymore. With how old I'm getting, I'm starting to realize more and more how I should be versus how I was. Don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna be me. It's just, I think I nailed who I am as a person. I know it's weird to say, but I've, this, it's, it's really hard to say goodbye to this place. It made me grow up a bunch living here. It made me realize a lot. I'm gonna miss it. But I do love my new place. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to say goodbye, but that's part of life. You don't live forever. You have to enjoy the moments you have. By the way, I didn't break this door. It broke by itself. It, this thing's made of cardboard and paper. Obviously paint and what have you, but you, you get the idea. Yeah. I'm gonna miss it, but um, I'm more excited about having a place I can call home. Yeah, besides the uh, moving, how, how you been lately? Because I know it's been a while since we talked and I may have changed just a little. And I know you guys personally, you've probably changed a whole bunch since the last time we were face to face. I mean, you guys look great. I mean, the guy behind you, he, his hair looks great. I see you got your teeth fixed, unlike me. I'm gonna hop off here, I got more packing to do. Try to cook dinner. I will see you maybe in the new year, maybe before the new year. I'm still uncertain. But as always, I'm Andy. Thanks for watching, even though it's been very long. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.